Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to work out the relative formula mass of uh, molecules. So you're going to need a periodic table and a calculator for this and the number we're going to be using on the periodic table is the mass number. So this one up here, that's the larger of the two numbers in a box. If you're confused about what these numbers mean, go back and look at one of my previous videos. So I have a very particular way that I like my students to set out um, these sort of questions. Um, if you make it very clear to the examiner, it's a lot easier for them to mark it. It's a lot easier for them to see if you've made a mistake and maybe give you the marks. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to write all of the elements that you can see down the side. Um, remember elements, you're looking for the capital letters. Now, sodium. Um, I'd like you to find the mass of sodium on the periodic table. So the mass of sodium is 23, the mass of oxygen is 16, and the mass of hydrogen is 1. Now we have one sodium, one oxygen, and one hydrogen. So 23 times 1 is 23. 16 times 1 is 16, and 1 times 1 is 1. We need to add all those numbers together. So 23 plus 16 plus 1 equals 40. So the relative mass of sodium hydroxide, you don't need to worry about what the names are for these, is 40. So exactly the same process here. Write the elements down the side. The mass of hydrogen is 1, the mass of oxygen is 16. Now because of this little number here, it means we have two hydrogens and we have one oxygen. So 1 times 2 is 2, 16 times 1 is 16, add those two together and we get 18. Here we have oxygen gas. So oxygen, the mass of oxygen is 16, and we have two of them. So 16 times 2 equals 32. Once we've looked at a few examples and you're feeling a bit more confident, what I'd like you to do is to pause the video, have a go at doing this yourself, and then come back and check whether you've got them right or not. So getting a bit more complicated now, this is actually glucose. So we have carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. The mass of carbon is 12, the mass of hydrogen is 1, the mass of oxygen is 16. Now we have 6 hot carbons, we have 12 hydrogens and we have 6 oxygens. So 12 times 6 equals 72, 1 times 12 equals 12, 16 times 6 equals 96. Add those all together and we get 180. Okay, this is something that is probably only going to come up in the higher tier because of the brackets here. Now, two outside the brackets means we have two of everything inside the brackets. So, calcium, oxygen, and hydrogen. The mass of calcium is 40, the mass of oxygen is 16, the mass of hydrogen is 1. Now, calcium's outside the brackets, so we only have one of these. Oxygen is inside the brackets, so we have two of them. And hydrogen is inside the brackets, so we have two of those again. 40 times 1 is 40, 16 times 2 is 32, and 1 times 2 is 2. If we add these all together, 40 plus 32 plus 2, we get 74. Another complicated one here because of the number outside. We have copper phosphorus and oxygen. The mass of copper is 64, mass of phosphorus is 31, the mass of oxygen is 16. 
So copper, we have the number here. We have three of them. Phosphorus is inside the brackets, so we have two of them. And now there are four oxygens inside the brackets, so we actually need to multiply these numbers together, which means we have eight oxygens. So 64 times 3 equals 192. 31 times 2 equals 62. And 16 times 8 equals 128. Add those all together. Plus 62 plus 192 equals 382. This is the last one here. Aluminium, carbon and oxygen. Mass of aluminium is 27. Carbon, 12. Oxygen, 16. We have two aluminiums. We have three carbons. And we have nine oxygens. So 27 times 2 equals 54. 12 times 3 equals 36, 16 times 9 equals 144, add those all together and we get 234.